we come to our next workout question, it says here, if you weigh 200 pounds on Earth, what will your weight be on a planet which is four point times as, uh, times as massive as the Earth and six times the size of the Earth? So this is very closely related to the problem that I did, the multiple choice problem, where we said what happens if you double the mass, if you half the mass, if you change the radius. Well, here we are changing both of them. The problem is giving us your weight on Earth, and then it's saying, if you go to another planet with a different mass and a different radius, what happens? So let's do the same procedure here. F equals G, mass of Earth over M over radius of Earth squared. So we're given that if you're standing on the surface of the Earth and with the mass of the Earth and the radius of the Earth, that this is 200 pounds. Okay? Now what will your weight be if you go to a different planet with a different mass? So it's going to be G. What's the mass of that planet? 4.5 mass of the Earth. Okay? And then what's the radius of that planet? That planet is bigger. It says six times the size of the Earth. It doesn't literally say the radius of the planet is six times bigger, but when it says that the planet is six times the size of the Earth, that's what that means. The radius of the planet is six times larger, and the diameter of the planet is six times larger. You see? So this is going to be six radius of Earth, but you have to square it. The important, the radius has to be squared. The mass is, is not squared, okay? So then you're going to have here 4.5 GMEM over, then 6 squared is what? 6 times 6, that's 36. Then you have radius of Earth squared. So this number, 4.5 over 36, 4.5 divided by 36, 0.125, okay, 0.125, this ratio came out to be 0.125, uh, 0.125 in terms of a fraction is the ratio 1 eighth, if you change this to a fraction is uh, going to be 1 over 8 is 0.125. 1 8 G M E M over R E squared. What that means is that whoever goes to that planet will weigh eight times less than they do here on Earth. Or the other way to say it is they will weigh one eighth of what they weigh here on Earth, right? So if they weigh 200 pounds, that's this whole thing is 200. You see? G M M over R E squared, that's 200. So if they weigh eight times less, you take 200, you divide it by eight. 200 divided by 8. Or you could just say 200 times the decimal 0.125. 200 times 0.125. Well, either dividing by 8 or multiplying by the decimal is the same thing. So you get 25 pounds. Okay? 25 pounds. If you, so if you weigh 200 pounds here on Earth, you weigh 25 pounds on that planet. So now you can do this kind of calculation for any of the actual planets. You could go online, find out the mass of, for example, uh, Jupiter or Neptune or Saturn or Mars. Find out how much Mars weighs as compared to the Earth. Uh, you know, whatever your planet you're doing, the mass of Neptune in relation to the Earth. Okay, so that will tell you 4.5, you see this planet was four and a half times mass of Earth. So if you go to Neptune, how much more does Neptune weigh on Earth? Then once you find that uh, out, you put it here. Then find out the size of that planet as compared to the Earth. Then you put that here. Carry out the same expression. Then you find out what you weigh on that planet. Then go to Griffith Observatory. Griffith Observatory has different scales and the different planets. Pluto and, uh, you know, going to um, all the way down to Mercury, right? So you weigh yourself on each of those planets, right? And then see if what you calculated and what those scales are showing are the same. Then there'll be a little good little experiment you can do, you see? So take your weight, do this calculation, find out what you will weigh on each one, go there, see what the scale reads. If the scale is reading something different, Go tell the management over there, hey, you guys have built these scales wrong. Something is wrong with these scales. And then show them your calculations, okay? Then if they disagree with you, 
bring them over to me. Let's see uh, what happens, okay? But uh, it should be the same, pretty much. The scales that they have are based on all of these calculations. So if you did the calculation right, then the weight you see should be the weight that you calculated, okay? Thank you very much.